All right. Back again. Right side provided us some pretty good stuff. But now we're going to dig into the left side. In the past, I didn't really get to open a lot of boxes. I mostly uh, got loose packs from entering tournaments and other things like that. So I don't really have a stigma towards one side or the other. So, uh, but maybe this is the beginning of something new. The right side was pretty popping. Let's see how the left side does. First we have a nose pass. Several wingles. Phantom. Bronzor. Oh, is he in front of a mirror? Or is this just another Bronzor? Because the reflection is uncanny. Toxel. Arukoda. Kuda. Is this a Galarian Pokemon? Uh, I don't know. And our rare? Greedence. Oops, bumped the box. Greedy Tail, once during your turn, you may search your deck for a Pokemon tool card. Reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Cool. Well, let me move these up a little. I don't want to bump the box every time I'm putting a rare down. Ah, now everything's silly. Fire Energy, Halucha, Morgan. We've gotten a lot of these. Metacham. And we have Stuffle. Coughing. Impidimp. Shinx, Sandigast, that's a funny looking Pokemon. It's got the cursed shovel in the top of its head. Reverse Hollow Binacle. And a rare, whoa, Ninetales V, a full art even. Awesome. Oh, that is so cool. Ninetales is one of my uh, favorites. It's, it's just so serene looking. Okay, let's uh, put that in a sleeve. Left side starting off strong. Nine-tailed shapeshifter. Choose one of your opponent's active Pokemon attacks and use it as this attack. Very cool. And Flamethrower 180, discard an energy from this Pokemon. Any energy, it doesn't have to be a fire even. I imagine the first attack would be what it's most used for. I have a Psychic, Tool Scrapper, another Dan, Carcoal. Nine Tails is a really cool card. Another Sandagast. What a funny looking Pokemon. I, I don't even want to call it a Pokemon. It's just so weird looking. Really coolly. Stunky. Clefairy. Voltorb. Reverse Hollow Luxio. And our rare. Runarigas. Another one. Metal Energy. Hatrum. Pokeball. Lampant. Oh, this also has the top entry ability. 
This is one of my favorite Gen 5 Pokemon, Gen 5 lines. Decide on how I want to say it. Derpy. Magmore. Yamask. Galarian Yamask, even. Surskit. A reverse Hollow Magmore, so two Magmar, two of them pack. Our rare Galarian Darmanitan. A water type. Galar Mine. The retrieve cost of both active Pokemon is two more. That's pretty big. So, like, for this uh, Bronzong, that would be five five energy cards to retreat. That's crazy. I wonder... I don't know if there's uh, many special retreats or, like, free retreat costs. I know in um, the previous sets you had, like... I know in, like, 2013 you had, like, Floatstone. I wonder what the counter to something like that would be. Metapod. Oh, there's some, they're doing some work outside. I apologize for any noise you might hear. They're always doing work at the apartment here. <clears throat> Search good. Stuffle. Coughing. Impidimp. Shinx. A reverse Hall of Mr. Rhyme. Screen Cleaner. It's kind of hard to read. Prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks except damage done to all your Pokemon that have energy attached. Cool. And then triple spin, flip through coins, tack does 50 per heads. Alright, and our rare. Oh, whoa! Look at that! Dragapult VMAX! Awesome! Wow! Okay, I don't know if these can be... If these are always full art. If the VMAXs are always full art. Oh, it evolves from the Dragapult V. It says in the top left there. So in order to play VMAX, you need to have the Dragapult V. That's cool. That's nice that we got a, a, a VMAX for a V card that we actually pulled, too. Okay, let's sleeve that up. Shred, 60 damage, this attack isn't affected by any effects of your opponent's active Pokemon. Max Phantom, 130, put 5 damage counters on your opponent's benched Pokemon in any way you like. Wow, so that's, that's a lot of, that's a lot. Alright, so we have, we got a Full Art V Ninetales, and then we got a V Max Dragapult. That's so cool. Darkness Energy, Capacious Bucket, another Turf Field Stadium, and a Carcoal. Dragapult's a cool looking Pokemon. I like it. Say what you will about like the uh, art style and everything of the console games for Sword and Shield. I've always really liked the art style and how they handled the card game. Everything always looked so good. 
Honedge, Litwick, Corsola, Binacle, Scyther, Ooh, Reverse Hall Spirit Tomb. That's a cool looking card. I almost thought it was a, a hollow foil with the way the art looks. It was a little, it was a little weird. A rare Hatran. Very cool. It's a hollow foil, even. Left side. Left side's doing real hot right now. The ability Mind Hat. Once during your turn, you may use this ability. Each player discards a card from their hand. And then Dripping Grudge for just one Psychic Energy. Put one damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon for each Pokemon in your discard pile. Oh, wow. Pretty unique card. Chatot. Trackloak. Lampet. Left side. Left side is doing really good. I've liked this a lot. I have Scyther. Volibi. Derpy. Magmar. Yamask. Bronzor. Oh, that was our reverse hollow. Oh, my bad. Reverse hollow Bronzor into Abominus Snow. Heliolisk, Dewblade, Heracross, Worcester's favorite Pokemon. I like Heracross. I wish I had known about it, really. I mean, I knew about it, but when I was a kid, I wish I had uh, actually tried to catch one and use it in, the, in Gold and Silver. I didn't know what kind of Pokemon it was like. It just looked really weird to me. Okay. We've got Squabbit. Applin. Temple. Trubbish. Helio Helio Ep Helioptile? Helioptile. Helioptile. I don't know. <laughs> Barbara Cole. As our reverse hollow. It's also a rare. Our ho Whoa, dude! Look at this! Wow! Copperaja VMAX Rainbow? Wow! Oh my gosh! That is gorgeous! Oh. Okay, let's sleeve that up. That is so cool looking. Dangerous nose. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a basic Pokemon, this attack does a hundred more damage. I guess VMAXs don't count as basic Pokemons then, since you evolved them from a V, a, a V Pokemon. And then G Max Hammer, just 240 damage. Oh, you get three prize cards if you knock out a VMAX. That is something else. Whoa, Full Art Nine Tails. VMAX Dragapult and a Copperaja VMAX Rainbow? Oh my goodness, left side has won my heart. Oh, so we're not done with that one. Fighting Energy Phalanx, funny looking thing. And then Palpitoad and a Capture Energy. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides a colorless energy. When you attach this card from your hand to a Pokemon, 
Search your deck for a basic Pokemon, put it into your bench, then shuffle your deck. Hmm. That's a cool way to get Pokemon out. Oh, and there's no specification either for like V Max or I'm sorry, V's or other types of Pokemon. So you could search for any V card with that. Helioptile, Honage, Litwick, Corsola, Barn Binacle, a Reverse Hollow Milo. We got a bit of a favoritism towards Milo, and Skyla for that matter. And our rare. Oh, it's another V. Ooh, Malamar V. And wait, is that a full art? No, it's not a full art. Imagine though. Wow, so cool! Oh, look at the look at the the ching. <laughs> what do you call that? What's the Japanese word for that? I know there's a word specifically for that. I'm gonna have to look it up now. Look at Malamar; he's so cool. Drag off, switch one of your opponent's benched Pokemon with their active Pokemon. This attack does 30 damage to the new active Pokemon. Brain Shake, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Okay. Put that over there. Just a fire energy now. Ah, Polisand. The evolution to the whack. Oh, hey, look, the cursed shovel is flipped up now instead of down. Sand Sink, discard the top card of your opponent's deck. If this Pokemon has a cursed shovel attached, if this Pokemon has a cursed shovel attached, discard two more cards from the top of your opponent's deck. That is pretty strong. Like, as an attack, that's something else. And then uh, Super Absorption, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. Another, um... Olina. Ooh, Twin Energy. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon that isn't a V or a Pokemon GX, it provides double colorless. If this card is attached to a V or a Pokemon GX, it provides one colorless energy instead. Alright. Is that Malamar? That is just so funny. Stuffle, Lotad, Growlithe, Roly Coly, Meditite, Reverse Hollow, a uh, Stunky. Our rare is. Ooh, how do you say this? Duraludin? It's a basic Pokemon. Attach a metal energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon, and then power beam, just 110. Uh, see, the uh, foil down at the bottom is really hard to distinguish on this, this card, but it is there. Oh wait, is it? Oh yeah, yeah, it's very faint, very, very faint. Fighting, Mescarine, Hatrum, Carcoal. This is so fun. I'm glad I did this. I recently just started watching a lot of uh, pack openings of of like the early Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Because I used to play back when I was a kid. And I went to tournaments and stuff too. And I was like, man, it'd be really cool if I had the older cards again, but I'm not gonna, not about to show up the money for it. So I'm like, okay, well, let's just buy a new set then. Start collecting from here, maybe. Meditite. Grubbin. An Electabuzz. Natu. Honich. 
Reverse Hollow Grim Snarl. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent's active Pokemon's attack costs one more energy. Ooh, that is powerful. Energy press. This attack does 30 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. That is so strong. Whoa. As long as it doesn't get O code, it could be an awesome card. Even still, it's a great revenge killer, I can imagine. Only giving up one prize card, too. Amazing. Maybe not against, like, say, Dragapult, whose attack costs are very small. And then our rare... Oh, I wasn't even thinking about the rare. <laughs> our rare is a Whiskash. Fire Energy. Pokeball. Lombre. Gallarmine. Awesome. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. Love it. Mr. Mime. Caterpie. Barboach. Arokuda. Reverse Hollow Electrode. Search your deck for up to three energy cards. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. And our rare. Ludicolo. Skuntink, Full Heal, Sonia. Is this the same art? Probably. I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we just haven't seen a Sonia card in a little bit. Hmm. We're reaching the end now. Only a few more packs. The left side has has one, in my opinion. I mean, there wasn't. <laughs> there was some really good ones on the right side, but left side's great. Arakuda. Stuffle. Lotad. Corralith. Roly Coley. Reverse Hollow Sonia. Our rare is an unpheasant. As uh, metal energy, Skyla, Electrode, Zatu. Okay, how many do we have left? We've got five more. Awesome. Try going through these ones a little more slowly. Just have a little fun. Let's rearrange these. Put these back in there. Nicer piles. Galarian Daramaka. Bunnelby. Wait, is this our first Bunnelby? Vulpix. Phantom. Galarian Farfetched. Reverse Hollow Indeedy. Our rare today, Scizor! Very cool. Raid, if this Pokemon evolved from Scyther during this turn, this attack does 90 more damage. And then Guard Claw, during your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage. Cool. Scoop up net. Chat hot. Charge a bug. Alright. 
three more after this one, and then we'll be done. Galarian Farfetch'd. Squabbit. Mr. Mime. Caterpie. Barboach. Reverse Hollow Metapod. I haven't gotten a Butterfree yet. Lots of Metapods and Caterpies, but no Butterfree. And our rare. Let's do it slowly. Oh, it's a V. Ah, Cinderace! Nice! Wow, that's a big art. It takes up the majority of the card. Well, I guess it's just that it doesn't have... It doesn't have any other attacks. Its ability is really short, too. If a stadium is in play, this Pokemon has no retreat costs. And then Crimson Legs does 140. Oh, so you could even play the, um... <clears throat> You could even play the stadium that increases retreat costs by two. Or wait, was that in a stadium or was that a Pokemon ability? Hmm, I don't know. Here, let's look at Malamar. Okay, yeah, so the arts do go down that far in general. But um, Cinderace just has really short ability and attack descriptions. Okay. A darkness energy. Heliolisk. Burning Scarf. The fire Pokemon this card is attached to is the active spot and is damaged by an opponent's attack. Even if knocked out, the attacking Pokemon is now burned. Ooh. Indeedy. Two more after this. These are our last three packs. Oh man, I'm really excited. I know I just got a V, but I would love to get another really, really hype card. I'd love to get another full art trainer. Those are some of my favorites. Imagine getting another rainbow card, though. Anyway. Several Wingles. Phantom. Bronzor. Toxel. Applin. A reverse hollow Pokeball! And for our rare, it's not a V. Ooh, that's cute. A creamy. Attach any number of basic energy cards from your hand to your Pokemon in any way you like. Whoa! That is cool. Basic energy cards, though. Can't do specials. Heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. I wonder how effective that could be. Oh, I put the Reverse Hollow up here. Oops. It's just a Grass Energy. Metacham. Morgrim. Palpitoad. That's a cool Pokemon. Oh, Kremi's nice. The art style of the set is nice. The Pokemon that need to stand out stand out really well, and then you have something like Al Kremi, who's just really soft and nice to look at. Darumaka Bunnelby Vulpix 
Phantom. A reverse hollow scoop up net. Okay, what's the rare on the second to last one? It is. Ooh, Surfetched. So we've gotten several of the hollow cards as reverse hollows as well. That is nice. I like this. Lightning Energy. Pelipper. Speed Lightning Energy. When you attach this card from your hand to a Pokemon, draw two cards. Whoa. Metapod. Lightning's gonna be on top of the map. Very last pack for this box, and the very last for the left side. Can we get another V, or maybe even a full art? That would be cool. Here we go. Roly Coley. Stunky. Clefairy. Voltorb. Nosepass. Ooh, Reverse Hollow of Beacon Bolt. Powerful Storm. This attack does 20 more damage for each energy attached to all of your Pokemon. That is a strong card. Or I imagine it would be. A lot of energy to have it work well, though. Reminds me of a... Uh, well, no. It's, rel it's relative to the Gardevoir in the Ruby and Sapphire set. Then you have Thunder Jolt Beam. This Pokemon also does 30 damage to itself. Cool. Alright. Our final rare. What will it be? Not a V. It's a Ninetales, a regular Ninetales. Very cool. Hex, if your opponent's active Pokemon is affected by a special condition, this attack does 90 more damage. Flickering Flames, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. All right, Fighting Energy, Heat More, Zatu, and Tranquil. That is so nice. Oh man, that was so cool. I had a lot of fun opening that. Here, let's sleeve up my hollows as well. I should, probably should have done that at the beginning. And then I will show what we got. No duplicates on the hollows in the hollow slot per se. I got duplicates with the reverse hollows. I think I got a duplicate for almost every one I got too with the reverse hollows. I think, um, well, boss's order. Let's see. Boss's order. Uh, maybe not. So I got. <clears throat> I got Surfetched, Weezing, and Flapple as Reverse Hollows. And then, so these are the Hollows. We have the Boss's Orders, Hatrin, Duraldin, Weezing, and Flapple, and Galarian Surfetched. And then for our V's and full arts and things, right, left side really popped off. These, this was all from left side here. Cinder Ace V, Malamar V, 
Copperaja VMAX Rainbow. And a Dragapult VMAX too. Amazing. And Ninetales V, which is also full art. From the left side. And on the right side, we pulled Dragapult V, Boltund V, and a Milo Full Art. This, this is all of them together then. These are all the hollow foils that we got. That was really fun. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed. I sure did. If you like this, then, you know, come again sometime. Hope you have a great rest of your day or a great rest of your evening. Enjoy.